Sharper ratio. Sharper ratio is actually one of the most common measures of performance for stocks. And it uses the stock returns, risk-free rate, or the return on the asset that is essentially considered by the market to be risk-free, and standard deviation. So Sharper ratio equals expected difference between the expected stock return and risk-free return. And all of that divided by the standard deviation on that specific instrument. So if you consider a risk-free rate of 1%, the Sharper ratio for the stock A would be 9% minus 1%, which is 8%, divided by 10%. So the Sharper ratio A is 0 0.8. And for the second stock, B, the shape, sharper ratio would be 7 minus 1%, 6%, divided by 8%, 0 0.75. Diversification and why having all eggs in one basket is riskier. Let's talk about the irrationalities of the financial markets. As we have discussed earlier, the number of retail investors in the market has increased significantly over the last years. It has created irrationalities in the market. And the examples include the first one, significant inflow into the wrong stocks due to hype. During the early stage of COVID, following the initial lockdowns, the investors have been heavily investing in Zoom for its video calling and conferencing capabilities. However, some investors invested into their own ticker, leading to the increase of price in a not well-known company that has nothing to do with video conferencing. The second example, trying to invest into the company that is not publicly traded. The largest most recent example is an application called Clubhouse. It has offered the audio rooms capability that got a lot of media and social networks attention. This essentially led to a significant share price increase in unrelated company with the same name. And the third example, price increases of going through the bankruptcy companies. COVID has brought a havoc upon the companies that were in the weaker financial health and having hidden problems. Hertz, for instance, had a significant hit on their business operations and despite being on the brink of bankruptcy, the investors pumped money into it and the stock bounced from its bottom. Sharper ratio. Sharper ratio is actually one of the most common measures of performance for stocks. And it uses the stock returns, risk free rate, or the return on the asset that is essentially considered by the market to be risk free, and standard deviation. So, Sharper ratio equals expected difference between the expected stock return and risk free return. And all of that divided by the standard deviation on that specific instrument. So if you consider a risk free rate of 1%, the share per ratio for the stock A would be 9% minus 1%, which is 8%, divided by 10%. So the share per ratio A is 0 0.8. And for the second stock B, the share per ratio would be 7 minus 1%, 6%, divided by 8%. 0 0.75 Portfolio risks and returns Let's see how it would change if we created a portfolio of the two stocks weighted 50-50 The calculation of the expected return will be easy for us we just need to multiply the returns of each individual portfolio by 0.5% and sum them up. So the expected return would be 0.5 times 9% plus 0.5 times 7%. So we would get to 8%. Then the standard deviation calculation is going to be more complex with many more moving parts attached to it. The equation will take into consideration each asset's individual risk 
as well as the offset of the risk due to diversification. You can check the formula on the blog website. Overall, essentially it's uh, sigma of two portfolios equals square root of weight of the first one squared times uh, standard deviation of the first one squared. Same for the second one. And then we have to add two times weight of one, weight of two, rho or our correlation times sigma a, sigma b, and essentially, yeah, as I mentioned, all of that under the square root. It's very difficult to describe, but I think when you see it, you understand it. And for this example, we'll consider a correlation between our stocks of 0.3%. And I really urge you to check into the risk episode as well, where I explain about what exactly correlation means. So for our combined portfolio, we would get the standard deviation of 7.28%. And let's measure that in terms of sharp ratio and how well we have performed. So uh, for our portfolio, the combined would be 8% return, minus 1% risk fee, which is 0 0.07, and all of that divided by our standard deviation of the combined portfolio, which would be 0 0.0728. So eventually we got to sharp ratio of 0 0.9615, which is relatively good measure. And this combined result shows much better relative risk reward performance than those stocks portfolios individually. And this is how the diversification can help you to manage your risks and better utilize the risks within your portfolio. And just for the reminder, yeah, so for our final portfolio, it Sherpa ratio was 0 0.9615. For, part, for the stock A, it was 0 0.8. And for the stock B, it was 0 0.75, both of which individually were lower. 